Beck's Practical Farm Research is here to help you turn your products and practices into profit. You've got questions, we've got answers. This is Ask PFR. The question we got off of hashtag AskPFR is how will nitrogen rates and timing be impacted by the heavy rainfalls we've had here in the eastern Corn Belt this year? What's the total rainfall we've had here in central Indiana this year at this location roughly? Uh, if you go off farm survey data, it's just a little over 22 inches. Since planting season basically? Since, since from between April to the, the 1st of August. You know, an inch of rain can move a moisture line in a, in a good silt loam, in a well-drained silt loam, gosh, you can move uh, moisture six, eight inches pretty easily with just one inch of rain, right? So it doesn't take much, and not all the nitrate moves with it, but a, a good amount of nitrate will move with that moisture barrier. So what has history taught us as it relates to um, nitrogen and PFR um, over the last couple of years? Uh, we see it depends on what the cost of nitrogen is in a given year, anywhere from 212 to about um, 221. That's that is pounds. Eight year is, units, is the right rate. Yeah, okay. total right. units. Um, last year, those were actually quite a bit lower because of the level of mineralization we had in the soil. Um, the economic optimums in our efficient nitrogen user was 150. Um, for our higher nitrogen user, it was 200. What do you expect to see this year? This year, I think it's going to take a little more nitrogen to fill out those years. And not necessarily because these hybrids need more nitrogen this year, it's gonna be more that nitrogen loss that we talked about. So, okay, so last year, this was darn close to the <laughs> efficient rate, 150 for, and which hybrids we got here? 58, 28, 61, 65. So, so this would be our efficient yep, user of nitrogen. This yep. is one that responds to higher All right. levels of nitrogen. Obviously paying a penalty this year. Correct. Uh, what rate do you have? I've got the 200. And this is the 5828 on, on this side. Efficient one, right? The efficient one. And then the 6165 on this side. And just like Travis, is, we're seeing a penalty this year for her as well. Doc, what have you got then? What I've rate? I've got the 275. So okay. this is the highest rate we do in this study. Um, this is the 5828 here and the 6165 here. So I'm a little bit surprised that yeah. even the, the high end requirement is still doesn't necessarily yeah. look like it filled out like we hoped, right? right? What's the take home message for folks as we think about nitrogen rates year to year? I still think more times than not, you know, if you look at our economic optimum nitrogen rate, that's still going to be the sweet spot mm -hmm. uh, majority of those times. And then you also may look into um, having the ability to adjust on the fly if, if you know, weather's telling you, you need to need to do that. Kind of points us to our next study I want to talk a little bit about is timing and placement. Maybe there are some things at least we should think about um, to buffer against some of those risks. So, all right, let's go do that. So we talked earlier about just total rate. Now we're talking about timing, right? So what are our trial? What's, what are we testing here? What different timings, Tyler? So what we're, what we're trying to do is we're trying to keep that 30 units at the planter. Okay. And then taking the 160 units. Yep. Doing half of it, so 80 units, side dress to V3. All right. And then taking the other 80 units, uh, half of that 160, and then coming in and wide dropping at uh, V7, V10, and VT. All right, to see if we can get a response with timing. So, um, the other thing is the reason we're doing that, right? We know that as that corn plant hits that rapid growth phase around V7, V8, that um, we're trying to hit that. So we're getting the corn plant what it needs, when it needs it, which is it's using seven to 10 pounds of nitrogen a day. The other thing is one of the theories behind these later applications is that we're trying to, we know that modern hybrids are using more later. So we're trying to see if we can get a response to later application, but mm -hmm. I'm not real encouraged by what I see. Why? What? What's, what's going, I see, plants are more fired and it run out of nitrogen, which doesn't make sense to me this year. Well, our theory with that is the, the VT application was just too little too late. Okay. Um, and it goes back to the weather we talked about. We've had so much rain, particularly in uh, June and July, yep. um, where we think we actually ran out of nitrogen before we got to that VT timing. So okay. We're, we're paying that penalty, we believe, with that late of an application. So uh, we closed the barn door after the animals had all escaped. Right. So whole, if I look at all these, and, and by the way, if I look at plants, it appears to me the sweet spot this year is going to be <laughs> this V3 or V7, mm -hmm. right, mm -hmm. versus 
V10, nope. Uh, VT, nope. So, although, I mean, those don't look too bad, but man, the plant's really running out. We're gonna have some stalk issues there, I think. One of the things I've always said is that drought symptoms, the firing, mm -hmm. is a lot of times what we're seeing is nitrogen deficiencies because nitrogen's not getting in the plant because there's no soil water. I wonder if that's what we're starting to see here. It's not that we're quote unquote running out. It's just that we're not getting nitrogen in the plant because there's no water, not as much water getting in the plant. And I think the lesson here is that we have to adjust every season, right? We do have to change our rates with the environment. And we do necessarily probably have to think about how we split and it may be different from year to year in order again to kind of fight against nature and what she's doing to us every year or he. So <laughs> with Tyler Kilfoyle, Dr. Alexandra Knight, Travis Burnett, I'm Jim Schwartz here at our Atlanta location. Don't forget to like and subscribe or comment below using hashtag AskPFR. Thanks everybody. Have a great day.